Hey guys, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. What a weird fucking day I've had so far. Anyways, I figured I'd uh, talk to you guys about the gynocentric model. It's been fascinating to me to watch the world and try and imagine it from a perspective other than that of someone who has a set of nuts and a cock, right? I tried imagining it really is a gynocentric world and that's the way it should be, right? Because that's how women treat it. That's how they treat it. This morning I was in a parking lot and I watched some women doing some fabulously stupid shit and behaving in fabulously abhorrent ways. <laughs> and it's not, it's not uncommon and that's the weird part. And I watched a woman walk over to her, her big fancy ass Chevrolet SUV, $60,000 automobile. And she had a cup of coffee from Starbucks in each hand. And she was talking on her phone the old fashioned way with the phone on her shoulder. And she walked over, kicked the door open. Well, let me just say this right. She managed to pull the door open. Whether she kicked it or not, I couldn't see. And then she rested it against someone's brand new Chevrolet pickup. Brand new and uh, it, the door wouldn't stay open and she couldn't get in. So she shoved the door against the truck and then she leaned in and started putting her coffee cups down. And I thought, you know, that bitch just put some fucking rub marks in a brand new truck. You know, she's so worried about her coffees. She couldn't set them on the hood of the vehicle. That'd make too much fucking sense, right? Set them on the hood of the vehicle or maybe on the top, right? Then open it up you know, carefully get in one piece at a time. No, she completely fucked someone else's vehicle up, some guy. And she had to keep yakking on the phone and off she went. Well, I got done at the parking lot there and uh, I went to leave and there's, you know, one of these exits that has two lanes. One lane turns right, one turns left. Well, I'm in the left turn lane and uh, I had pulled up first and I have to wait till the traffic clears both ways before I can pull out. Well, this fucking broad pulled up and I, you know, you check right, check left, check right, check left, you know, intelligently looking to see when you can go safely. And I looked over to the right and there's a broad sitting there in her fucking car. And she scowled at me. And I was like, what is your problem? And I know what her problem is. She can't see around my pickup. Well, then you wait your turn. She hated the fact that she had to wait for me to go. She shot me dirty looks. I have no idea who the broad is, right? Who the fuck is she? But she's got to shoot me dirty fucking looks. And I thought, what the hell is going on? And I, I put on my, my bitch goggles so I could look at the world through a bitch's fucking perspective. <laughs> and I thought the problem is, is I was holding her up. The same way that other guy's truck got in the way, right? He's got a big ass truck, she's got a big fucking SUV, and they're cramped in these regular parking spots. Of course it's gonna be tight. But they get angry that they're being held up. And that is women in a women's world, right? They're now the boss, but they're not happy about it. And of course, we always talk about in the world of MGTOW why women can't be happy. They get their way, they're given more privilege, more special uh, uh, rights, entitlements, right? They don't just have a car anymore. The car has power windows, right? Power locks, air conditioning, heated, cooled and heated seats, defrosters on every window, tinting, auto tinting, moonroof, satellite radio so they can listen to their particular genre of whatever. Come, everything they've got and they still can't be happy. They've still got to drive around like fucking cunts. Why? They're getting everything they want. Why aren't they happy? You know, it's a, it's a gynocentric world and they're angry. They're angry at penises everywhere. They get mad. Right? She's not happy so the lady at the stop sign has to look over at me and shoot me a dirty look. Like it's my fault that she's having whatever problem she's having. It's gonna have to come to an end. We're gonna have to stop giving them everything they want and start taking it away. You know, because it, it pisses me off to work the way I do, make the money I do, 
pay the taxes I pay, right? A lot of the money I make goes to pay the taxes, and since women cost more than men, since they use more entitlements, more government benefits, more social benefits than men, my taxes are going to women. Somehow I've got to figure out, take them away. Right? Men have to stop buying their women really nice cars. Put them in a fucking Flintstone mobile where they got to put their feet on the ground to slow it down or to speed it up by pedaling their feet. They've got it too fucking easy. But you know, when you get to it, they're just full of anger for no reason. What could it be? I mean, have you guys seen this? Have you seen the angry woman look? For no reason. Right, for a while, they came up with a cute excuse for it, a cute nickname, Resting Bitch Face. And of course, I still use that. You know, I, I use that term, Resting Bitch Face. You know, what is their problem, though? There's no reason for it. I think about when it's a man's world, not the gynocentric world. When I think about the man's world, I think about how we appreciate how good we have it. How you walk into the bar and uh, you, <clears throat> you walk into the bar, you look at the bartender and you say, I'll have a beer, right? Give me a Sierra Nevada, give me a Budweiser, whatever your beer is, Coors Light. And the bartender hands you a glass or a can or a bottle and it's cold and you're happy about it. Fuck, right? When I was a kid and I get in my car, sometimes it didn't start. Right, my car or my truck, whatever I had, the shit don't start. When I turn the key and the engine starts, I'm a happy guy. Right, I'm going somewhere. I've got air conditioning. I've got everything I need right here. I could live out of my truck. Sleep in the back, put a fridge in the front. I could live out of this fucking thing. Happy, man. I'm happy with life. I've got my job, right? I work at it. I get paid. I'm happy. You know, never mind that they tax the ever-loving shit out of me. <laughs> but I'm happy about it. I live in my fifth wheel. I go over there. Everything works. It's a compact little world, right? I'm happy about it. How about you guys? Are you happy? Uh, I know some of you guys that have girls in your life that drive you fucking nuts. You can't quite be as happy, but I mean, are you satisfied with the way the world works for you? You know, you go to the fridge, you open it up. There's fresh food inside of it. It's cold. You take a shit, you flush the toilet, water washes it away, you're happy about that. Right? To this day, I still like taking a piss just to know that when I flush, it's going to go somewhere it's supposed to go. I take pleasure in all of the innovations of men, all of the sacrifices men have made to make this a great world. The inventions, the innovations, the thinking right? Uh, mathematics, looking at nature and figuring out how it works and then saying, now let's modify that to make it work better for people. And that benefits both men and women. And maybe that is why women are so unhappy. For the same reason that actors and actresses that are big time movie stars, they're not happy and they don't know anything, right? They make a bunch of money and they're just not satisfied. They're angry. So they become... Uh, social justice warriors and activists because they're angry at the patriarchy. It's because they're not really doing anything, right? Maybe that's women's problem. Maybe that's why they're so full of anger for no reason because they look around and they get all the benefit and they've contributed nothing. Just like actors. Actors get tons of money for what? For standing there reading a fucking cue card and they're angry. Maybe that's what women's problem are is they got it too easy. Right? And they feel guilty for it. And so they carry that guilt around. And it builds up and it builds up and it wells up into hatred for everyone else. Right? They're, they hate you because you're a man. Because you take satisfaction in what you have. You take pride in the job you do. It really is my fault after all. Holy shit, it's my fault women are angry. Why? Because I'm happy. I can be satisfied. I have pride. And women can't have that. They can't fucking have that. They can't be satisfied. They don't take any pride in what they've done. And so they're angry and pissy about it. Fucking amazing, isn't it? Amazing. What do you guys think? 
What's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on this? You know, tell me what you think. Why are these angry women that you see everywhere? It almost seems like the better off they have it, the more angry they are. Women's rights activists in the 60s, I don't know, what did they want? They wanted to burn their bras and uh, be able to speak freely and, and have more sex. Well, they got it. They weren't more happy, so they started bitching for more. They're never fucking happy, and the more they get, the less happy they are. I think that probably in 20 years, they're going to be so unhappy, they're going to be allowed to kill men because of their anger towards men. And kill men because men are happy, and they are so much more unhappy. Look at the world we're heading into, guys. What a fucking train wreck. Whoa, man, what a wreck. Gynocentrism. What a pile of shit it is. Thank you, feminists. Thank you, government. Thank you, social engineers. What a great concept you've come up with. Destroy the world through the unhappiness of women. Because <laughs> I wake up and I go, man, it's going to be a good fucking day. And I look in the mirror and go, John, you're the man. You have the penis. And I go, yeah, I have the penis. I'm going to go out and kick some ass. Right? I'm going to have a good fucking day. I'm going to enjoy it. Right? It's feeling like spring. Grass is coming up green. Right? Life is good. The first thing I do is drive out to the road and I'm getting fucking scowled at by unhappy bitches who can't be pleased. What a fucking world, huh? All right, man. You guys be cool. Give me your comments. Tell me what you think. Thumbs up for this and all MGTOW videos on all MGTOW video channels, right? I'm over at Patreon if you want to support this channel and buy a scotch and a cigar for me. That's fucking cool. Um, share, share this video with old guys, young guys, guys that are engaged. Fuck. If they don't know what they're doing, they need some help because they're going to bang their heads against the wall. These guys that are getting married, thinking they're going to make their woman happy. Fuck. No, they're going to make them miserable. You marry a woman, give her everything she wants. She's miserable. You're fucked. And she's going to try and find happy in some other guy's pants, in some other guy's car or in his house. Then she's going to fucking destroy you over it. Jeez, you poor fucking engaged fiancé type guys. You're fucked. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. All right. Thanks again. Rock on. Subscribe if you haven't. MGTOW. I have the penis, right? Semper Fi.